on the horizon. Storm Team meteorologist David Grant is up next with the forecast and in tonight's West Side Story, a sport that takes skill, speed, and agility is gaining popularity in the Bay Area. Now, if you saw tonight's uh, primetime movie on Fox, The Three Musketeers, you saw some very fancy swordplay. And you may think that kind of sport to went out with swashbucklers, but that's not actually true. In our Fox 13 Extra tonight, some people who are arming themselves for fun. Movie lore loves a duel. It was the Hollywood formula for success. They sparred for honor, and they battled for romance, a captivating fantasy that's still very much alive. Whoa. Errol Flynn and such, it, he's always the romantic type, so it seems like a unique sport. It's the European equivalent to baseball, but much quicker. It's as much about your mind as your body. Oh, there it is. If you're timid, donning a mask and squaring oh, off makes you... Ruthless. <laughs> so that's why some people turn to fencing, the most eloquent way to pick a fight. Wow, look at that. He parried, he reposted, and then he did a remise. Call it busting midweek boredom or just trying something different. Whatever the reason, a lot of ordinary people discover something extraordinary about themselves. Oh. A totally different person. Uh... Think of it as you're watching one of those vintage movies. Those carefully choreographed duels really do transcend the silver screen. Let's bring it up here. Let's look real classical. Beginners feel like they're learning to dance. And I make an attack. And these cushy Nerf swords won't leave any marks on first-timers. There, she defended. She defended a little bit with distance and with her blade. But you have to wonder, would the real musketeers approve of a duel as just sport? They would really think this is ridiculous. What really was intended was to be aggressive and to, and to kill your opponent. About the only thing you do to your opponent here is say thanks and see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Real nuts. Various places around the Tampa Bay area offer fencing classes as adult sports, and who knows, maybe you're going to end up in the Olympics or maybe just the movies. Are you a good fencer? Uh, no, I play croquet. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. Nice. Grima, pero prácticamente solamente la disfrutamos cada cuatro años durante las Olimpiadas. Thanks. Estoy seguro que después de ver películas como La Marca del Zorro o Cyrano de Bergerac, a todos nos ha entrado la curiosidad de saber qué sentía alguien en esa época cuando tenía que enfrentarse a otro en un duelo con espada, tal vez por el amor de una bella doncella. Con eso en mente, me fui a la Tampa Fencing Academy, ubicada en Hillsborough Avenue en el área de Town and Country. La academia tiene estudiantes tan jóvenes como de 9 años y tan mayores como de 80 años de edad. Pero, ¿qué beneficios nos ofrece la esgrima? La esgrima es importante para individuos que la practican porque es un, una práctica de, de, de cerebro, de mente y físico también. Bueno, la esgrima tiene muchos años de práctica. En 1600 yo puedo decir que es la primera vez que la esgrima se practicó como deporte. Después de ver las prácticas, no pude contenerme. Me puse el chaleco protector, mi guante y mi máscara y recibí una clase relámpago del mismo coach Jerry Durán. lo que una hora de entrenamiento hace aquí en la academia. Realmente es increíble y yo pensaba que practicar la esgrima era caro, pero no. La academia suministra todo el equipo y el costo mensual es de solamente unos 30 dólares mensuales. El challenge comes from a local high school student who thought I'd be afraid to try fencing. It's actually something I've wanted to do all my life. 
As a young man, I dreamed of growing up to be the Black Earl Flynn. So when 15-year-old Laura Hammett challenged me to try fencing, I jumped at the chance. Okay. Have you ever had to pull a uh, sword out on a boyfriend? No. <laughs> no. The coaches dressed me for battle. The jacket, by the way, is made of ballistic nylon, which is what they make bulletproof jackets out of to protect you from blade breaks which don't happen too frequently. Wait, blade breaks. Ready? Coach Rosenfeld gave Good. me a few pointers, Good. pun intended, and seconds right. before battle, I had a question. Ready? Wait. <laughs> what, is, what are these lines and things? Oh, you can't go over these lines. Then it was game on. Laura stabbed me in the first oh, five oh, seconds. My cat-like NFL quickness didn't help. The combination of my 43 years and Laura's talent was too much to overcome. Laura Hammett was the winner, five to three. You did very well, you really did. <laughs> See, I, I fell for that shy routine. Yeah. You oh, she was good. Yeah, just a sweet little girl. A aerobic, Until great challenge. Had. Oh, no. Good good job, Laura. Thank you for the challenge. <laughs> you had fun. I really I did. So, fun. that's kind of well, that's terrible. Scary. That's yeah. terrible. Man's at home. We have much more ahead for you tonight here on Fox 13. We're kind of in a swashbuckling mood here on Fox 13 tonight, and uh, we're hoping you get the point. Uh huh. Oh, when you meet some folks who love an old fashioned duel. Right for a hobby and love a challenge, do we have a sport for you? Fencing is gaining popularity here in the Bay Area. We'll tell you how to play in tonight's West Side Story. And, I'm here, you. and he is the first to tell us that the this sport is really gaining lots of popularity. You're either a great athlete when you do this sport or a hopeless romantic. He runs a fencing club that parries and thrusts five nights a week. And here's what he does every night when he's there. Take a look in tonight's West Side Story. Go. Right, do the circle six. Come in. Bam, bam, boom. There are three basic types of weapons used in fencing, the foil, the epee, and the saber. The foil is the lightest of the three, and you score only with touches to the torso. The epee is heavier, and you score by hitting all parts of the body. The saber is a slashing weapon. Five, ten, and fifteen points are scored to win a bout. And points are accurate because the combatants are wired up and the touches are tallied electronically. People aren't out there to kill each other. People are out there to touch each other. And all you need is 500 grams. It's a very light touch. So you don't really have to be super aggressive. You don't really have to boil over the person. Just touch them very lightly, and you get your point. Jerry Duran works at Mosey setting up displays, and he does this for relaxation. He says it's a sport where men and women can compete against each other. Strength and size really don't matter much. It's skill and agility and speed. Fernell Costelli is very good at this sport, and he's only been doing it for four years. The point of fencing is to try to get your opponent to do what you want him to do without him knowing it. Fresnel is quick as a cat with a foil in his hand and is left-handed, giving him a big advantage since most people in the sport, and most people in the world, in fact, are right-handed. With the Olympics coming up, there will be more interest in this sport since it has long been an Olympic venue. Younger fencers are faster. Older fencers are more patient and wiser. I think it's sort of that way in life, too, isn't it? If you'd like to find out more about the Fencing Academy, give them a call. And I just found out that Irene did this in college. I sure did. We weren't wired like those students were. Were you good? I wasn't bad. Being a dance student, I, I had the grace and the form down pat, but I don't think I scored too many points in that Stuck class. a few guys, did you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just a couple. All right. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bob and Gail are up next with News Channel 8 at 6, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> Go. Here, you can see, now you're threatening him again. Go. Oh, take your time. Ready? Taylors, shop in a panic. You've tried but failed to find the perfect gift for your significant other. What do you do? Get creative. All this week, 44 News Dayside anchor Julie Brannon offers up some gift ideas from the unusual to the sublime for the hard to shop for person who has everything. Tonight we begin with offbeat gifts of learning, all for under 40 bucks. 
Does your honey have a Zorro fixation? Or perhaps he or she is just in need of a lesson in coordination. Well, why not try a gift of fencing? For information, call 885-FOIL, F-O-I-L. The Fencing Academy is on West Hillsboro, just east of Eisenhower.